term two. So we're going to start with unit three. Unit three, we decided to combine topic six and seven in it. So six and seven is going to be part of unit three. And unit four will be the last one, will be at unit eight and unit three in it. So three and eight, they're going to go as a unit four. Unit three, which is that's what we're going to be doing now, six, chapter six as chapter seven. Um, now let's talk about chapter six here. Okay, chapter six is congruence and similarities. So we're talking about triangles here, for example. Uh, uh, let's say, for example, we need to translate uh, a triangle from, it doesn't have a triangle, I'm just using an example, translating a triangle from one place to another place, that's what we call translation. So we're not rotating it, we're not doing anything with it, we're just moving it around from here to here. The next section we'll be talking about reflecting it. It's like having a mirror in front of it and it's going to be reflected over a mirror. I mean, always imagine reflection as a mirror, right? Rotation, you're rotating it, so it's going to, the size is still going to be the same. All the sizes, by the way, uh, one and two and three are the size is still the same, right? But here's the location is different. Here's also the location is different. And the shape, the, the way it looks is different. The rotation also the same thing. Now, uh, we're going to be doing a composite transformation. We could do more like a translation and reflection and rotation at the same time. Okay, so section four, that's how it's going to be. Uh, understanding the congruence figures. Now, from the name, it doesn't, doesn't tell you anything, but we'll talk about it. Dilation, now the shape itself is going to change. You know, it, it, it could be from a small to a big, big to small. So it's going to switch sizes, okay? Uh, understanding angle line, okay, so angles or line transversals, this is also we need to talk about. Interior, exterior angles, triangle, angle, and angle, triangle similarities, okay? So now let's go ahead and, and see chapter 7. Chapter 7, okay, which is part of unit 3. It's going to be, uh, and you need to understand and the Pythagorean. Pythagorean theorem is one of the most important theorem in math. So whenever, wherever you go from, 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 let's say, from grade 8 all the way to college, you're going to be using it. Okay. So this is a must know. You need to know this. You cannot skip it. So understand, oh, for example, you need to understand the, 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 the Pythagorean itself. Understand the converse of it, okay? And you need to apply, which is only four sections, by the way, okay? This is not that hard. And it's an easy, easy theorem, by the way. It's uh, so easy, okay? Uh, I'll talk to you about, I mean, usually all the, more, all the students, they memorize it as a, a squared equal B squared plus C squared. But when we go through it, I'm going to show you, you know, that how to memorize it also. It's easier. Now, let's go ahead and start just giving you an idea about chapter six. Um, I have no other way but to do it this way. Sorry. Okay. Let's go 6666. Six, six, six. Okay. Chapter 6. There's 6. Okay. A little more. There. Okay. This is your chapter 6. Now, so chapter 6, uh, we said we we're going to analyze transactions. So remember, this is the figure eight, one and figure two. So we could slide it this way or slide it this way. So the translation is going to be from here to here or from here to here. Okay. And then uh, you could you could do the transfer. Look, look at this one. Let's look at this house. Okay. So I have uh, this part of the house that I want to move. I want to move it here, for example. So the or original location is uh, for the fire pit is here. Okay. So the new location is here. I decided I want to move it from here to here. So what did I do? I moved it six feet to the right and three feet down. So that's, a, that's what we call it a translation. Okay, so we moved it. So notice that the shape is still the same, right? The shape is still the same, except, you know, that the location is different. The same thing here. So, ah, yeah, I need to mention one thing. This is what we're going to be. We're going to be using a lot of something called image, pre-image. And we're gonna say the word a prime. You're gonna you're gonna, for example, or or, or b prime or c prime. So we're gonna be using uh, terminologies that you need to know. Okay. So a pre-image is the original image. Okay. So like for for example, you are standing in front of the mirror. You are you are actually you are actually the the the, the pre-image, and your picture is your is your your is your image, right? So that's how we do it. And um, that you know we. That's it. I mean, this is what we're going to be doing. I mean, I'm going to be explaining this uh, this in more in the weekly week videos, right? So the weekly videos will be talking about this. Okay, guys, talk to you later. So we're going to be covering chapter six and seven for unit three. Okay, bye bye.